The Student Organic Farm is one, a magical place, but it is a 20 acre certified organic farm. It is here for MSU students to experience uh, sustainable agriculture in action and discover where their food's coming from. I'm Darby, I am the farm manager at the Student Organic Farm at MSU, um, and my role at the farm is working with students, uh, giving tours, and generally overseeing the production all kind of all aspects of the production of the farm. The mission of the Student Organic Farm is to engage students in sustainable agriculture and for them to have a deeper understanding of where their food's coming from and how they as a consumer can really vote with their dollars. So whether that's purchasing from a farmer's market from a local farm or making uh, sustainable choices in their own gardens uh, or even at the grocery store choosing certain products over another based on knowledge they've learned at the farm or in classes at MSU. I'm Juliana. I have been on the SOF for three years now. I'm a food science master's student. I'm a farmhand, so I work um, in all aspects of the farm. We do the CSA, um, growing and planting and uh, harvesting the produce. We grow year-round, but um, our big harvest and, and um, season is in the summer and fall and spring months. Um, we do a lot of transplants and uh, seeding in the spring, getting ready for the summer season. Um, but even in the winters, we're growing in houses and we're growing a lot for dining over the winter. And then summer season, we do our CSA um, and into the fall even. I think Student Organic Farms are super special places. MSU was one of the first Student Organic Farms associated with a large university. It's just very cool to be able to have students engaged in different types of agriculture. So the history of the Student Organic Farm, um, I don't know it completely, it has this kind of air of lore to it, um, <laughs> but my understanding is that the farm started in the late 1990s, early 2000s, when a group of MSU students approached uh, professors and advisors expressing interest in wanting a space dedicated for exploring and implementing and researching sustainable small-scale organic farm practices. So in conjunction with those students and the professors, this 20-acre parcel of land was set aside for the farm. We've been certified organic since the early 2000s, and the farm has remained in the same footprint with the same basic mission of serving students both produce-wise and educationally uh, since then. I think the student organic farm is important because it helps people break into organic horticulture. So for me, I had no experience before I got here. I've learned a lot since I started here. Hi, I'm Bran. I'm in the IET program for organic fruit, vegetable, and horticulture management. And I've been at the farm since November of 2023. So my role at the farm, um, I'm just a, a farmer, so I do kind of a little bit of everything, planting, harvesting. I'm tractor trained, so I get to drive the tractor around. That's fun. So we get our food to the dining halls by, um, so we harvest it first uh, in the field and then we'll put it in bins and take it up to our wash pack where we wash everything and pack it for the order. Um, usually we're doing like several deliveries at once to different dining halls. So we'll harvest in bulk and then separate it in the wash pack. It'll usually be two of us that take it out and deliver it straight to the dining hall. So there's no like middleman there, it just goes straight out. So each week I send out a form that has everything that we have available. All of the dining halls that are open at the time sign up for the quantities that they need. We fill the order and then we deliver each week. Then uh, the chefs make amazing food out of it. I'm Allison. I am an animal science major going into my senior year at MSU. Another great thing about the Student Organic Farm is how much I think everybody cares about 
the earth and maintaining um, as much of that biodiversity as possible. Um, if you look in any of our houses or in our gardens or in our fields, you'll find tons of different kinds of bugs, grasshoppers, beetles, butterflies, lots of biodiversity and I think that's really that's really important because we have we have things that you know need pollination and maintaining a healthy ecosystem is a huge part of sustainable farming. I would definitely consider the student organic farm to be farm to table. Our produce gets harvested sometimes day of and then goes out to the dining halls. The nature of vegetables are they're quite perishable and so we know that they have to be being used quickly and so we know that those chefs are taking the produce that we harvested that day or the day before um, and giving them out to students. I feel like it may be the most accessible farm to table because it doesn't have that huge markup that a lot of like of the fancier farm to tables have. Um, so it's an affordable way for students to get that farm to table feel just in their dining halls. We're harvesting this morning to send out to our CSA members who might very well eat that tonight for dinner as part of their dinner. Um, and if that's not farm to table, I don't know what is. Yeah, I really love everything about the farm. It's taught me a lot about what I want to do in my future. Um, and shown me that I'm passionate about sustainable agriculture. I love working with the people on the farm. We have a really cute farm cat named Trout. She's amazing. Um, and it just, it's fun to be outside and get a chance to work in the soil and um, grow produce. I think my favorite part about working on the farm is Trout. <laughs> um, no, but yeah, Trout. But um, I just really love getting out here, working in the dirt, getting, getting my hands dirty. My favorite part about being part of the Student Organic Farm is the students. Um, they're super fun to be around. It's really fun to see them grow throughout a season. Um, so they get to learn all of the work that goes into it and how we care for the land and how we be very conscious about what we're doing to the land, how we're making these complicated decisions. Even just having the ability to work on the farm for a season or volunteer a couple of days, you really get an appreciation of where your food is coming from um, and the hard work that all farmers are putting in.